Well, good morning to you. How you doing, ladies and gentlemen? Thomas Martin here. So I've came down to Eric's. He's got a few hundred cars. I'm looking for a rim for that 59 Apache that I just got. So here we are today. It is hot in Texas. It's about 100. So he said I could go walk it again, browse, whatever, take pictures, what I wanted. So here we are. Let's go check it out again. He might have new stuff. I'm sure he sold some things. I see stuff moved around a little bit, but he's got a 59 Biscayne. I think he said it was a pile over here, but I don't see it. Maybe it's further back. Damn. It's pretty, uh, it's a little beat up. So we're looking for a six lug rim. Nice Dodge rim power out there. There's that Volkswagen bus. He's got lots of trucks. Not too bad. Hmm. Oh, that's what we're looking for. Oh, there's one. Right here's not too bad. It's probably not the last rim we're going to look at, but I mean, a good rim. It's kind of beat up. But he's got it around, let's say, 100, 200 cars out here. Came out here about two years ago. Walked around with him. So we're gonna see what he still has. He had quite a few things that I was interested in. He's even got new stuff, newer stuff, All right? So, he said there's a pile of rims around here somewhere. Water was leaking in my pocket. We're gonna go this way. Let's go around that Texans over there. Yeah, so the water spilt down my leg. Now I'm wet. It'll dry real soon, watch. Anyways, like I said, it is hot in Texas today. go that way and it goes all the way to the back first i think he said go this way and then there's a pile of tires Things for sale, even like that F-150. So here's that Texan. Right. 
Really wasn't expecting to walk through weeds today wearing tennis shoes and shorts. But we're gonna make it. Somebody's alarm. It does have several K5s and uh, Dodge Power Wagons. It's a Plymouth. A bunch of engines. Ram charger. Prospector. Ford trucks, they're pretty nice. No clouds, no wind. Just me and the sun beating down on my head. I'm trying to cover my phone so it doesn't get hot. There's a the 914 Porsche. Something like that. Lots of trucks, lots of trucks. This one's Superman. And everything's been growing, so it kind of makes it a little harder to see stuff. Ford trucks and Dodge trucks, boy, he's got what you need. We'll just go row to row, back and forth. He is a retired salvage yard. That's a nice Chevy pickup right there. He's a retired salvage yard. Hey Justin, there's your parts. Been out of business for a long time. Now it's just, it was his father's. So he's just kind of like personal collection now. But stuff is for sale. There's a whole front clip. Chevy pickup. Power wagon. 
four by four. Now to the next row. Got a Saab, got a Jaguar. Man, we got this Pontiac wagon. He's got one of these up by the house that I would say is in a lot better condition. But it's full of hubcaps. But that back glass is hard to find. All right. A little dune bugger. Adventurer. Club cab. Well, I'm having fun either way. Plymouth four door. Good for a derby car. This bourbon that don't look too bad. Side steps, not too bad at all. All the glass looks good, except for the back there. Chevy short bed. Shade feels nice. Whole bunch of bumpers. Some side steps. A bed, an old Ford. Another Chevy. Got a sedan delivery here. There's that Chevy truck. We'll come back down that way and check it out a little bit. After we go through everything else. Sedan delivery. It's pretty cool. Do some yard art, if anything. Get a front clip for it, some fenders. Some flower pots out of it or something. I don't know. There's a fork in the road, so we're gonna go this way. Another Chevy cab. Oh, there's more here than I thought there was. Maybe that's that pile of tires he's talking about. Cut up Firebird. The bus is packed full of stuff. It's like all the other things. You never know what's in those. Blazer. She looks rusted. Play a fair lane, 500.
Volkswagen Bug and some boats. Another, well, it's a 59 Impala this time. It's a four door. Looks like she's been sitting here for a long time. 59 four door though, you know. All the way back here at the back. Something crazy lifted up over there. So you know the Land Cruiser or something? We are circling around the back and go see these couple of rows that are left over here. It's a nice air compressor. I'm sure he'd sell it. Everything's for sale. It's an old van. It's a 90s model Chevy pickup and a Kia. We'll walk around the corner here. Minivans. Well, he's got newer stuff out here too, but there's still a few gems out here. Firebird. I was thinking he had some Nissans or Super or Toyota or something out here. Then minivans? Nope. There's the uh, international. Kind of parted out. Check out this fire birder. The bird. No engine. No front clip. Still got all of its interior there. Got some engine parts in the trunk. Okay, we're gonna back up and go down this aisle here. Looking at the fire chicken. It's for sale. How much? I don't know. I don't know. Sorry, I hum sometimes when I'm out here alone. Nobody walking with me today. Nobody walking. So I'm just doing my thing. Not really pushing videos like I was. I'd say the algorithm of YouTube sucks, but that's just me. Some people like to watch different things and I'll look through these rims right quick. Maybe that one. I'm just finished looking for the cars and then I'll do my shopping after the video's over. How about that? So this is that fork we went around. Oh, 
couple of Chevy trucks for parts. I got a lot more spots to go to. Since YouTube really doesn't like me, I guess. My uh, subscriber count, views and all that is just not on par with some other channels that started the same time as me. Of course, I've never really done much advertising. I don't want bots, I want real viewers like you. And this takes a long time to make it grow like that. People can get monetized in 30 days. It took me three years, but I've been putting in the hard work. I've been walking fields. I've been trying to make deals for people versus some of these channels that the camera's on his face the whole time, right? Camera's on his face the whole time. And you're just watching some dude walk a field, can't even see the cars. But my channel's about the cars. Always has been, always will be. Making deals, buying, selling, finding the new personal collection that no one's really walked or bought anything from in decades. You know, that's what I like doing. Knocking on doors. I'll drive three, five hours. Hey, I'm still in Texas, but that's how you find stuff. That's how I found all these deals. I just got to do the legwork. So I might do some advertising. I got some more yards. I got some more deals coming up. Trying to finish my GTO. It's almost done. It's real close. I was doing updates for a long time, but I just want to compile one video, if you know what I mean. That's what I want to do. I'll tell you what though, it's it's hot. I'll take a little break for a second. Drink some of my water. So after I get the GTO done, the plan is to get that vet going, the 61 Corvette. And uh, after I resto mod it, and it'll be a mild resto mod. I'm not gonna use the Art Morrison frame or nothing custom. We're just going to build the car and paint it, make it as nice as we can. And uh, it'll be for sale. And if we go too extreme, we might just take it to Barrett Jackson or Meekum and let it just roll across the block like everybody else. No reserve, just get what you can. And then uh, I got my eye on some other Corvettes like that turquoise one. Mark's still got those 258s and then that 53 that's up in that barn. So we could just do one Corvette a year, you know. Still make my yard videos and but I'm really not buying them as much as I used to because I've been spending my money on my car. So I still got some things in the mix though. We're gonna finish walking this yard right quick and I'm gonna get my tire and head back home. It's hot. Pretty nice GMC bed right there. Here's the Chevy. I like it. Looks pretty straight. Uh, it's still got an engine in it. Pretty much full interior. Some bucket seats. And here's the rest of the stuff. And some extras. Jerry's Weatherford. military truck still got the old engine in it and this old thing right here Pretty cool. I've never seen a different pile of rooms. So I've been pushing this one around. Believe it or not, that's about the whole yard. He used to have 
Dodge satellite sitting here. 68, 69. Last time I was here. If you want to watch the other video, it was less weeds and it was about two years ago. Check out Eric's collection. So until then guys, appreciate you watching. Hit that like, hit that subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks.